at a used car lot. I believe this is a uh, only one they have. I've never seen another lot by this name anywhere else. Uh, years past, I have bought some vehicles here, but not uh, since current owners have taken over. Uh, the lot had a different, I forget what the name was. But I had bought a couple of vehicles here years ago, pickups I believe. Yeah, yeah, everything I bought here has been a pickup. Ah, uh, just stumble across an e-golf, ten thousand five hundred dollars. Only thirty-two thousand miles on a twenty sixteen, and it makes you wonder why it's so cheap. Or I shouldn't say cheap, but uh, um, it's got kind of low miles. And actually, this that's been sitting here quite a while. Nine thousand dollars for two thousand nine Civic. That just seems crazy. Oh, look how much corrosion on those rooms. One hundred twenty thousand miles. Had a lot of Chevys in my life, but always got rid of them around about one hundred fifty thousand miles. That looks like no press on this. Started in the middle. Everybody can use a family sedan. I... Paul, I've had a couple of this body style, 183,000 miles. Six grand. Last one I sold it. Sure, it had less miles than that. I got a thousand bucks out of it when I sold it. Now look at the paint on the hood. A little lower body style, 53,000 miles. There's what am I saying? Eleven thousand dollars. Twenty-eight thousand miles. Three point six V six. They've had a couple different engines in the Impalas. Camry. It's been a rental vehicle. I always like nicer interiors. I'll be a quite into those 57 or 47. God, I keep making mistakes. Kind of a bench seat. Don't see many of those anymore. 172,000 miles. 3.8. It seems like that was a good engine. It's like a question of the unibody integrity. How about hard to say how close they inspect those things. Possible every vehicle's got a question of unibody integrity by that age. I'm doing 21,000 miles. Alright, more Impalas. Impalai, Impalas. Six grand, 142,000 miles. I wonder what these things are going for at auction. Used car dealer, you'd assume that they're getting their vehicles from auction. Play some bubble and rust. I remember when these were super fancy. 127,000 miles, up to five grand. Leather's kind of coming apart. Yeah, uh, the leather seats. I had a car fixed once at a uh, canvas shop or like a tent awning place. They took that seat apart and replaced the leather, and you couldn't even tell. So you definitely can fix those leather seats. Although I guess once they're really far gone, you've got to fix the whole thing, so it's maybe not as much worth it. Six one thousand twenty fourteen cruise. I must just be lazy because I really like leather, but I like to be able to slide in and slide out, kind of position. Okay, we got a Lexus. I like the Lexus because of their uh, reliability. But like this, what is this, the uh, NX? This is a smaller SUV. I just don't feel like I fit in there. There's so much space. This is probably half price of new. 
There is that. Yeah, I feel like I'm pushed forward against the roof. I'm about 6'3. It's got the power seat. Yeah, it's all the way down. Oh, all the way down, all the way back, and I still feel like my head's against the roof. Probably last forever, but maybe to get used to that. It's gotta be, I mean, look at my seat. I wouldn't be able to see to make a left turn. Looking right at this pillar. Pretty color. But really prefer something I fit in. Oh, we got Lincoln. Definitely bigger. Oh, 2023. All right. Let's here. Well, oddly, I'm um, not a lot further away from the roof. Crazy nice interior, though. Well, all those covers over the drink. I don't think I let anybody drink in here. I can just see losing french fries down in the seat. Yeah, I see why uh, they ask so much for these. They are really nice. Not sure I would spend that much just to drive it around and risk getting a deer. Yeah, look at this. Half the price for a Chrysler van next to it, or half the price of a little Lexus SUV. I mean, definitely more room in the Lincoln Aviator. Wow, than the Lexus SUV, but Chrysler Pacifica. I mean, the Pacifica, you'd get more in there. Well, or as much at least. Yeah, you really gotta decide what your priorities are when you're looking for a car. Uh, GMC Terrain, only 20,000 miles. Kind of playing there, look at the seats. I see these snagged a lot. And these seats are in really good shape. Got a funny smell in there. Like some kind of cleaner. Price, what is that? Sport. Oh, see, same seats. I don't see, yeah, no, it's got a snag in the driver's seat. 54,000 miles, about 15 grand. I mean, a very functional vehicle. Not sure what mileage is on these things. Alright, CRV. You wonder about the vehicles that are rated higher, and this is definitely rated higher. Price kind of shows that. It's not any nicer inside. If anything, it's less nice inside. The seat fabric just looks a little funky. That's part of why I like leather, is it uh, not smooth? You can kind of scrub it. All right, putting five. Look at all that. Uh, look at that front fender. Looks like it's been spray painted and. It's like pits in it or something. It's all wavy. Oh, but they're asking six grand. Yeah, 4,700 exempt, so apparently nobody knows how many miles it has on it. It could be good, could be bad. Well, these were made um, in the Toyota factory in California, I do believe. Yeah, look at that. See, they'll at least have similar reliability to the was it Toyota Matrix? Kia. First digit K, so it wants to be made in Korea. Kia, Korea. Yeah, I'm showing sure we'll the first one. 172,000 miles. That's pretty good. Got a little bit of soul. Alright, cheap. 2.44 so much a little engine, 76,000 miles. And at least at one point. Yeah, what is the digit? Z. I am not sure what country is Z or origin. I'll have to look that up. A little bit of renegade goes a long way. Alright, cheap compass. 
white black rope. Looks like this rope has popped up. It's kind of cool that it's a full setup like that. Nice interior. Cloth insert. A little bit of damage to it. Back seat. Nineteen thousand dollars. This has got a shifter. Well, one hand shifter, one knob shifter, full spin button. Seems nice. A little bit of a wide A pillar, but not horrible. Oh, look at that spray. Does that mean it was touched up, or does that mean they uh, did that in the factory? Three. Now I really forget my codes. Is three made in Mexico? So let's see on the. Uh, Tag. This tag, maybe. I'm not reading fast enough. The CIOS LLC. The US has got more than one code. Equinox. Another three. from Plaque. They've got a couple dealerships around. 18 grand. These seats are still in decent shape. It looks like they would show wear. Remember the old purple lure interior? Come a long way. It's a little more room in the back seat, it looks like. Maybe I'm more of a Chevy shaped body type. Renegade. Yeah, Z. Only fifty-three See the A pillar is like really wide. You see, like you feel like you're sitting further back. Oh, look at the uh, tack. Like it's got a little splash for the number gets high. Let's see if no center off. Got the back seat. Oh, little Jeep. I'm a little on the speakers. Okay, yeah. Right away. Let's get the little rack on it. Not much past the uh, back wheel. I know, I keep wanting to call it cute. I don't know if you should call a Jeep cute. Jeep Compass. 18 grand. Seems like there's kind of a floor in car prices. I've always thought like the uh, Volkswagen Jetta was like your definition of a car. You can get a new Jetta for like 22,000. So then anything uh, nicer you pay for is over and above that. Basically, the, the jet, I don't know, to me, the jet is kind of the base mark. It's probably some Nissans you can get for less than that. I haven't really checked the, uh, you know, what the Nissan Sentra is going for nowadays. 22,000 miles, 30 grand, 2.7 six cylinder. Like, you don't even see that many six cylinders anymore. I'm trying to put four or some more and more. All right, I gotta check out the uh, Challenger. See many uh, six speeds anymore. Seems like nobody knows how to drive those things. The level that uh, touchscreen is. But this is fast. We're pulling the door. All right, MS. What engine does this have? Five point seven eight cylinder. Yeah, can you imagine an 8-cylinder with a 6-speed? Definitely get some tickets with that. 